Hello, everybody. How are you doing? And welcome to another reseller eBay Bolo. It is it is I, your friendly neighborhood Texas gal. It's Margaret. Hello, and I'm here to bring you another Bolo video. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I've been selling on eBay and Etsy for or five years maybe, um, and making YouTube videos for a couple years about making money online. I do a lot with jewelry. Um, but I have two awesome groups on Facebook, which I'm going to share with you real fast. So you can see one of them is called International League of Thrifters. And for whatever reason, the whole top of it is not showing for you, International League of Thrifters. And then the other one is called Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers. It looks like this. And on in each of these groups, I run a thread called Bolo. So that, this is what it looks like, where everyone gets to share an awesome sale they've had, something to be on the lookout for. That's what BOLO stands for, be on the lookout for something maybe that you have sold that maybe was surprising, that people don't necessarily always look for, or just a really good sale that you had. Um, also, a perk of this is that if you have a YouTube channel or a Facebook page, Instagram page, any kind of social media that you want shared, um, you can share a link for your bolo and then share a link and I will share your um, social media out and we all come and follow and support each other. Um, so if you haven't joined those two groups, go over and join. They're amazing groups. I am hoping to be more active very soon because we're in the process of moving. I am in my mom's house right now. So you've seen lots of different backgrounds if you've been watching lately. So I am currently at my mother's house because we are in the process of finishing up at our home, which is about a mile away. Um, so, yeah, and I am, am live, so if you're watching this later, um, you can see the chat over, I think it's this way, or down below on your phone, and if you're ever interested, we call ourselves the Texas Gal Tribe because we get together on my channel. I don't know what else we're we gonna call it. Um, but there's lots of amazing people that come and chat live, so definitely hit the little bell. I think there's been a problem with the notifications. I've been getting a lot of messages saying we're not that you aren't getting notified. And I think there's a setting that you can change it where it says all notifications or some, or I don't know how it works, but I'll have to look into it. Um, but amazing people, very helpful and kind. So definitely come hang out live and talk to everybody. They're super friendly. They won't like bite your head off or be mean. Just come say hey. All right. So let's get started with the bolos and if you have not um, included a bolo why not do it we're all sharing together and this way you are getting to learn from everybody else and everybody else gets to learn from you so don't just come and take a bolo take a bolo leave a bolo <laughs> that's what i always say starting right now um it looks like i'm in a doll's house i'm, I'm in my old bedroom but my mom transformed my bedroom into Alice's bedroom. My mom is an Alice in Wonderland fanatic. Okay, let's just get that out of the way right now. Okay, so all of these plates are Alice plates. And over here is like a whole thingamadoodle full of Alice. Yeah, it's Alice's room now. Forget it, Margaret. It's not your room anymore. It didn't look like this before. <laughs> okay, bolos. Back on track. That was a short diversion, right? Okay, so... Um, that, and these, this is what the thread looks like. So I've already turned off notifications. So if you're interested in participating, then go into one of the two groups and leave a comment. I will um, post a new Bolo thread once this video is over so that you can come and join in. Okay, I think I've given it enough. And first up, and I've lost my page that I'm giving the names. I already know who shared this one. This was from Becky. Um, but hey, in the chat real fast, sorry. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Deborah, Cat, and Rebecca. Hello, Caroline from the Celtic Traders. Good to see you here. Hello, Dave, Anna, and Ruby. And if you are here, go say hi and go hit the thumbs up. 40 friends. Thanks for being here, everybody. Okay, so Becky shared this. And if you guys don't know Becky, hang on. My, I'm taking up way too much of the screen. I got to make me smaller. Yeah, here I go. Whoa. I want you to see the item, not me. Okay. So, I had this all figured out before, and then, of course, uh, there's always technical difficulties. All right, so Becky, who is the Dorky Thrifters on YouTube, shared this. And if you don't follow her, Becky gives amazing information a lot about smalls because they live in a tiny home, 
a they travel a lot they live in an RV and so she picks up a lot of things that are smalls particularly glasses and does really well so she does a lot of videos that are geared towards maybe smaller things that you can make money on um, and glasses so lots of things what to look for when buying glasses because you know at thrift stores sometimes you just see a basket full of glasses you know or you go to a garage sale and glasses there's a quarter <clears throat> so you can make a good profit selling glasses all right Becky says sorry I missed the last few bolo videos has anyone mentioned eyeglasses yet wink wink uh, check out these crazy vintage Tura frames I sold I paid three dollars for them at the thrift store and they sold for a hundred ninety dollars so um, and one of the questions in the thread so within the bolo thread on Facebook friends were asking questions Dana was asking um, do you know if you take a pair of eyeglasses to the eye doctor and they can tell you the prescription um, so I know you can the glasses you can be you can take them and find out what the prescription is but you can also get the prescriptions refilled so um, I what I like to do on the bolo videos is do an additional bit of research and find out is it just the brand or is it that they're cool like steampunkish kind of extra lenses and stuff like that what makes these so valuable are we looking for the brand or just something really awesome like this <laughs> yes I am <laughs> okay so um, I did a search the first part of the search I did was Tura and then RX is prescription um, so I found 15 sold recently and you know there was a $20 pair sorry my nose is itching um, this one vintage these are those big ones like Dynasty or something uh, fifty four dollars that's pretty good um, some are lower but you know thirty bucks if you're picking them up even twelve fifty if you pick them up for cheap enough that's you know still a nice profit so thirty five dollars thirty dollars ninety nine dollars so it looks like that brand Tura might be one to to look at if you are out look at these ones like really funky I don't know if you can see what my, I'm pointing at this one right here I'm underlining it there um, so yeah Tura and did I do another search on this one? Oh no, I just wanted to share her channel. So this is what our channel looks like, the Dorky Thrifters. Um, so in your mental Rolodex, keep that Tura brand um, saved so that you, if you see them out, you know to pick them up or to double check them while you're out. Okay. Um, got some more friends jumping in the chat. Hey, Twisted Drifter and Kristen's there. Hello, Murphy Desky. Hi, Chili Serrano. Hey. Um, Let's see. Oh, you got a pin for 50 cents at the city market and looked it up on eBay. Saw it was going for 35 bucks. That's sweet. Awesome. Hey, Amy and Kara. Hello, hello. Okay, hey, Kaylee. All right, next up, we have got, this was shared by Ginny Lorette, who also has a really good Facebook group I'll share in just a second. She shared wall pockets. I found this vintage wall pocket at a renovation station for 50 cents. The, oh, she put it on auction. The auction started at $29.99, had four bids, sold for $45.50. Wall pockets were produced to hang on a wall to put flowers in or anything else. Scissor wall pockets are popular too. She says, I'm still looking for my first Christmas wall pocket. Okay, so I, oh, I meant to pull up a picture because my sister and I found a wall pocket recently and it was a lady's head. And she took it and put it on her wall on her patio and put some succulent like hanging dangling succulents so it looks like hair coming out of the top of its head I'll see if I can find it for you so this is a really cool and she kinda looks like Snow White doesn't she <laughs> she's cute okay so that was sold for forty-five fifty. pardon me I'm trying to hopefully not be sick but if you notice my cheeks are really red my throat's starting to hurt that's not good I can't afford to be sick right now okay so let's take a peek. So I did a search for vintage wall pockets to see. Oh wait, before I did that, this is um, Ginny's group. Yes, Virginia. Every day is Christmas on eBay. Now she shares a lot of stuff that has to do with Christmas items and Christmas things that you can sell for a good profit. Because I know I talk about this all the time. I go into that Christmas room at the estate sale. There's always one or a panel like wall of shelves with all the Christmas stuff. And I just turn around and walk away because I have no idea what I'm looking for. But there is money on their shelves. And Ginny and her group will show you 
what to pick up. So it's always nice because even if you just look at that shelf and you have one thing in your mind, I'm looking for these particular glass blown ornaments or I'm looking for, you know, one of the things I saw in Jenny's group. It's a really great group to join. Okay, so let's see what other wall pockets. There it is. So I did this sort and I switched it from shipping um, highest first, highest price, just because why not? So, um, you know, Roseville, all right. Now this one, this McKenzie, I would have walked past it, honestly, but 275, I'm like, ooh, I, maybe I need to take a, take a step back and uh, look at these. So there are some different ones that are wall pockets that are over $100. Look at this umbrella one, isn't that cute? Now some of these, you know, you might see, oh, that's Roseville, okay, that's McCoy, that explains that. Look at this one, vintage Japan, she devil, head vase. So pretty cute. I'm going to go back and, and sort by recent just so you get an idea. But I like to see, like, what are the high ticket ones so I really know. Um, no, Dan, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> but I do. You can see my cheeks are really red. I don't know what's going on. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so there are some different ones. Definitely some that I would have walked past because I think they're hideous. But, hey, look at this one. looks like a big cicada. Wow. Okay, okay, let's go back and do a search for sold recent so we can see if, you know, there might be regular priced ones as well that we should look for. So here's some lovebirds, 30 bucks, but best offer was taken. Still, most of them I'm seeing are 15 or more, so that's $17.99. 40 bucks, 15 for this cockatoo. That's pretty cool. I bet you could get more for that. There are some cockatoo lovers out there. Alright, so if you see those wall pockets, keep an eye out for them. I'm going to look at my sister real fast and see if she posted it on Facebook. Because she did. We, we picked one up. Where were we? Were we at a garage sale? And she planted a succulent in it to make it look like hair. And I can't remember if she emailed it to me or texted it to me or if she put it on her Facebook. Just give me two seconds. If it's not there, it's not there. I don't think it's there. Nope, nope, I don't know, nope, nope, I can't tell, sorry, it looks really cool, so I just wanted to show you, but uh, who knows, nope, oh, okay, that's it, there we go, um, yeah, it could be dust allergies, that's what I'm hoping, I just need, I already had spicy food today, so it can't be, I usually get spicy food to try and feel better, um, cool, Kaylee said I went through a bunch of my great uncle stuff and found a bunch of old Mickey Mouse, and it's, um, and it sold for, for pretty good money. And Caroline says, I don't think I've ever seen a wall pocket in any of the charity shops there. Okay. I'm determined, apparently, to find this picture because I know she sent it. Now I'm looking at my phone. Oh, there it is. Haha, -ha, she texted it to me. Here, here it is. This is, hang on, can you see it? So this is the wall pocket that we found of this lady's head. And then Elaine planted a succulent plant in it. And put it on her patio wall. Isn't that cute? I'll bet she could sell it <laughs> for good money. Okay, so that was when we found, I can't remember, garage sale? Thrift store, maybe? Okay, so back on track. No, oh, these were some scissor ones, because sometimes you'll see ones like in a sewing room at an estate sale on the wall, um, and they look, you know, kind of like this is what I'm used to seeing. I don't see any that sold for really a lot of money, but you know, like this one right here. But maybe there are others that sell for more money. This, oh, that's got a poppy on it. That's nice. They need to put poppy in that. Okay, there's a few others that sold for, for better, but nah. I don't know. It's worth a look at. See? Little sparrow wall pocket. Cool, cool. Okay. Next up, let me get back over to my notes so I can see who shared this one. Oh, gosh, did I close it out? Are you kidding me? See, I can't, I can't get sick right now. Okay, let me see if I can go open this book. I closed out my notes about who sent what. Why would I do that? Because it's me. Nope, that's the wrong one. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay, step away from the controls, Margaret. Sorry, y'all. Talk amongst yourselves for one second. Apparently my brain is... 
I'm going to go open it back up over here and pretend like this never happened. So how has your day been going? It's been chaotic around here. Hi. Uh, yeah. So I'm talking. Leave a comment if you are watching this later and waiting for me to get my notes. Because I closed it out. Yes, I did. I'm searching for Bolo right now in the group. Is it, oh, Amy says, I don't think I've ever seen one. Maybe. Is it a U.S. thing? Let me know if you're international, if you have seen one of these wall pockets. Okay, okay, here we go. I think I've got it now. Sorry, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Sandra Reffing shared in the group that AM, FM radios with the flip clocks um, sell pretty well. She said the one, this one worked, uh, I don't see her link, but I pulled up some other ones. This one worked, she bought one that worked except for the volume would come on ha only at halfway. She paid $15, but it sold for $230 plus shipping. So let's see if we can't find or figure out which one it was that was hers. All right, so here we go. AMA FM flip clock radio. We'll try to make them a little bigger so we can see. And these are these are sold. So here's one a best offer was taken. Even 50 bucks. I mean 35. Oh look, here we go. 219 bucks still in the box factory sealed. Pretty good. Very cool. Okay, loading. Maybe. Alright, let's do ended. Let's I like to see highest price just for fun. So we know. Is there a certain brand? Whoa, okay. Vintage Panasonic National. Well, if you see that one, apparently snap it up. Vintage Panasonic National. Those ones seem to be selling for in the 200 plus range. Okay, good to know. Groundhog Day white flip clock. Oh, wow, okay. I don't think you can put Groundhog Day, though. I think they slipped that one in. <laughs> All right, so I'm seeing Panasonic a lot, so especially... Panasonic ones seem to be doing really, really well. Um, Debbie says, oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, next, and I don't think she shared, no, no uh, social media there. Also, Sandra shared, I sell a lot of ball caps. If you get them for less than a dollar, there's good bread and butter money. So this is one that she sold, Looney Tunes Wiley Coyote. So less, you know, picked it up for less than a dollar, sold it for $32.99. Um, I have done pretty well with caps. I don't pick them up as much as I used to, um, but I have. Yeah, I went ahead and looked it up. So where are we at? I just did ended recently. You can just see. I mean, there are a ton. It's uh, they sell, right? So finding out which ones sell, and I know I did. I'm trying to remember if we did it on the Bonafide Hustlers channel. I know he's got some videos about snapbacks. I want to say I did one, but I can't remember where, if it was on his channel or mine. Who knows? I can't remember. Okay, so just kind of scrolling through and finding funky hats. I mean, Disney, Harley. Yeah, I mean, different sports teams. Here's one that's a Hard Rock Cafe. I mean, this is just a random Office Depot. A day made better. Office Depot Foundation. Like, really? $17? Okay, I have a, a one baseball hat. Here's a Hawaiian Tropic one, sold for 20 bucks. Yeah, I mean, so just keep an eye out. Here's a boss with the money. Um, yeah, I have one still that I'm like, do I list it? It's a Hustler one, so I might. Um, I might. <laughs> I need to list it. Dan says, vintage Sony Walkmans can sell for hundred. Oh, cool, cool. All right. Um... Hello, hello. All right, so next up, this was also shared by Jenny, I believe. Yes, Jenny, who has every day it's Christmas Virginia. And she says, I have never listed a Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville item that didn't sell. I paid 50 cents for this and took a best offer of $12. And that's a pretty good return. I mean, that's a, probably about a 10 buck return. So I don't think I've ever picked up any Margaritaville stuff. But I did a search, and I did... Um, search, hang on, let me get back to the top because I was really enthralled by this. I sorted it by highest first, and as you can see, there's 1,600 results, so it sells. But I was shocked by this 
battery operated cordless blender, Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville. So apparently this blender, if you see it out, grab it because it's not a normal blender. It's a, I guess, battery rechargeable, battery operated. It looks like it has a rechargeable battery so you can take the party with you and make your margaritas. So, but I, I yeah, I've never seen one out in ever. But now I will look, even though I don't normally sell this kind of thing, because 200 bucks is what a lot of them are going for, over 200 bucks, 300 bucks, pretty good. Hey, in the chat. Um, and of course, I'm seeing neon, which can do really well. I've seen bags. I think those are signed. So I'm trying to scroll down to things that aren't neon or signed, because just the normal things you might actually see when you're out. Um, here is a Margaritaville like one of those tin signs, and that sold for 54. Here's a Margaritaville, another advertising banner for 50 bucks. So even just like a tin sign, pretty good. Looks like shoes, 50 bucks. Here's a hat, Margaritaville hat, 52. People love their Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Here are some poker chips and um, koozies, right, for 50 dollars. Wow, okay, so definitely keep an eye out for Margarita Bell. Let's sort by recent, because I did do highest first. So let's do, ended, no, not ended recently. Yeah, ended recently. So I'm seeing a license plate, 30 bucks, and, oh, an LP, 5 bucks. Yeah, so here's a ball cap and a shirt. I mean, there's, wow, a lot of marketing going on. <laughs> Go, Jimmy Buffett. Okay, so... Oh, he's really got it on everything, hasn't he? Shoes and clothes and hats and cups. Okay. Yeah. All right. So to keep an eye out for Margaritaville. Sorry, my throat really is starting to hurt. Y'all, I don't have time for this. I have no time for being sick. Okay. <clears throat> oh, has he? Okay. <laughs> All right, so, okay, now these are ones that people shared in jewelry, lovers, and sellers. They're not all jewelry on this one, but that's okay. So, let me pull this to the side. Come on, there we go. And this first one was something we found in one of the jewelry jars and we're very surprised about <laughs> in the group. So, um, oh, I'm going to say your name wrong. Git Stern. Um, she says, hi girls, I am not sure if this is the right place to post, but I watched your video, Margaret, and I did check Chan Lu online and found this video. It gives the entire background for her designer and her brand. Personally, I can't say I like the style. So this particular brand of jewelry, um, gosh, what have I done? <laughs> I pushed the wrong button again, you guys. I'm a mess today. Oh, look, I just minimized myself. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to go get checked out after this. <laughs> so, the this kind of style of macrame with beads in it, I know I've seen and have, you know, not paid much attention to. But Chan Lu can sell for really good money. So, this is the style, as you can see. And these are ones that are sold. This little wrap around, wrap bracelet macrame, it's got beads or little cultured pearls or sometimes little silver stones. Hey, <laughs> in the chat, how's it going? Um, can sell for really good money. So I opened up a couple so you can see the tag. So this one sold, let's show you. This is a, this listing has ended. Okay, this is a sold. And this is one of the tags, it's, it looks like a button closure and it says Chan Lu on it. Um, Oh no, <laughs> Jane Seymour says, I can you believe I tore one of these apart to keep the metal beads great? I know, right? And then here's another one that sold for $31, and it's, you know, that's another tag right there. Because this one has a knot instead of a button. So that's the tag, Chan Lu. All right, 26 bids, you guys. Okay, so keep an eye out for those. Even though they, I mean, to me, I would just not even look at it. I wouldn't have thought about looking at that um, if I saw it in the case or whatever. I'm going to be some macrame, whatever. Now I will look. 
Okay, so next up, uh, Chandra Emmerich shared, I have a few bolos. I spent, oh, let me get them in the right order. Nope, wrong. Um, she wrote, I spent $8 on Ralph Lauren sheets and sold for $48. So I looked up Ralph Lauren sheets, or Ralph Lauren, however you want to say it. Um, they're over 7,000 sold, so people are looking for them. And these are sold. Make sure I click sold. Did I, did I click sold? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so these are sold. Some are new in package, you know, full sheet set, 50 bucks. Some of them are not. Here's just a king size pillowcase. Um, fitted sheet, king size, $39, $129.74. So, I mean, here's just two king size pillowcases, 20 bucks. Yeah, there's the little bears. So keep your eyes open for Ralph Lauren sheets. That's pretty good. I don't really look at the sheets that much, but if I see them now, I will know to, to big them up. Okay. Next, she also shared um, the HP. I spent maybe $10 and got 148 I wish I could find that many more times. And this is a calculator that she sold. So um, I pulled up HP calculator. Again, there's almost 5,000 results. And they all seem to be pretty fair. I think I've sold a calculator, a calculator that looks similar to this HP one right here. So there are some that look like this, like a scientific calculator. It doesn't look like it's a graphing one, just a regular one. Then these little small ones. I'm pretty sure I've sold one kind of like that before. That's just the manual. Look at that. 41 bucks. Okay. So we will keep an eye out for these HP calculators. Look at that one. 112. Wow. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm at my mom's. I'm at my mom's. In the chat. Okay, then she also shared one more. She said, um, the anthropology plate I bought for a buck ninety nine at Salvation Army and it sold for twenty nine dollars. So let's see this plate. So here's this anthropology Francophile blue cat teapot dinner plate. It sold for twenty nine dollars. She got it for two bucks. That's a pretty good turnover. And so let's take a peek at anthropology. Now I know a lot of anthropology stuff sells, but these are just the plates. I wanted to see. Is it just the cats or is it all of them? From what I'm seeing, it's all of them. So there's a swan, there's a kitten, there's some lady. It looks like a kid painted it, didn't it? It looks like a kid. Remember when you were a kid and there were those plates you could paint and then they pop them in the oven and then like bakes it on? That's what it looks like. For that one. I don't know. First time I won. Um, but yeah, look at two of them puffer fish plates. 80 bucks, best offer taken. Still, 21 bucks, 20 bucks. So keep an eye out. Look at that. 26 bucks. Let's see what the back looks like because this is what we need to know. Okay. Natalie Lett Anthropology Plate. We need to see the back. What does it look like? Ah, it jumped. So it looks like that. Can you see what I see or no? Hang on. I can't see if you're seeing it. I, I have too many. There we go. Okay. So you can see, does it even say anthropology on there? Not on that one. I don't see anthropology on there at all. So let me try another one and make sure. Because that way we know what we're looking at. Because what I know, that's what that was. Look for plates. It looks like a kid painted it. <laughs> or did they all just say, Natalie, is it let? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. Here's the back of this one. Yeah. See, so it doesn't say anthropology at all on there. So look for this, Natalie Lett. Cool. Good to know. I, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> so, and Chandra has a Instagram called Chic Eco Thrift. So make sure you go over there and follow her. This is her on Instagram. So go over there and show her love for sharing some bolos with us. She's got a really good Instagram page with some fun stuff. Oh, jewelry jar. Oh, yeah. There's some dolly. Okay, so you know it has to be good. <laughs> Gets grit and lipstick. There we go. Um, 
I wonder if the anthropate plates would be particular to the artist, maybe, possibly. But when I did a search, I didn't search the artist. I just searched anthropology plate. But possibly, that's a good point. Unless they only have the one person. I don't know. That's a good point. Okay, so next we have got... Do, do, do. Jessica shared, um, I found this ring. Gorgeous. Hang on, you've got to see it. She says, I found this ring at a garage sale for 75 cents, and it's sold in less than an hour for 150 bucks. This is why I love garage sales. Okay, this ring I found also for about 75 cents. When it averaged out, it was like maybe 80 cents. Um, so I'm going to still say 75 cents. So you can find really cool stuff at garage sales. So she found this for 75 cents at a garage sale, sold in less than an hour for 150. I picked it up because it looked cute in a weird way because it was marked. Thanks to jewelry lovers, I learned a lot about uh, Niels Eric from Jewelry and we'll be looking for more. So I'm so glad you learned some stuff from Jewelry Lovers. Go join you guys. I know, right, <laughs> Debbie? So let's take a look at what the design looks like. And this is a Danish maker, I believe. Denmark, yep. Yeah. Okay, so these are some solds. And they have a very, if you see some of the more Scandinavian style jewelry or metalwork even, it, you kind of get a feel for what it looks like. So here's some other ones, and the name is, and I might be saying the first name wrong, Niels Eric From. So it doesn't, From is not like the word preposition in our language, it's the name. So um, here are some different pieces that are really pretty and expensive. <laughs> so I had some earrings that looked like these clip-ons, but I think mine are Coro. Darn it. <laughs> but yeah, really cool, of modern style. Um, there's hers. Woo very, very cool. So I wanted to show you the mark because a few of them have different style marks for the name. So this is one on the like this ring, and on the back it says from nine two five S. Right? Pardon me. Um. Uh, so yeah, knowing that that from isn't just like a random word on there, that's the name of the designer, um, is good to know. And then on, no, did I pull up hers? I thought I did. Okay, let's pull hers back up because I wanted to show you. The mark on hers was a bit different. Oh, I had hers up over here. To, okay, here we go. So this is the mark on hers where it says Sterling, Denmark, um, something, and then from 925S. Okay, can you see it? Oh, it's N-E from. From, I'm sure it's pronounced from or something like that. Anyway, so there's that. So come join Jewelry Lovers, you'll learn something. All right, Juliana shared this one. Vintage Caravel, which I may be saying wrong, ball pendant watch. Mine only sold for 15 since it's pretty beat up, but when fixed and running, it can bring 50 bucks. So that's that. Isn't it pretty, all that pretty enamel? Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Okay, super pretty. So there's that. So I looked up Carvel Pendant Watch, and these are some of the solds. Oh, whatever, Dan. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so as you can see, there are some that sold for fifty dollars. <coughs> um, so these are those like, you know, pendant pendant watches um, that would be worn around the neck. And I thought I saw some that were like a pin style, but maybe I was just imagining it. So keep an eye out for pendant watches, Caravel. Like so. All right. I'm look. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that's standing out for me. Okay. Okay. So keep an eye out for those. And then. Also, oh, this was shared by um, Lori Martin shared Sarah Cavender Jewelry. Pardon me. I paid a dollar as it came in a lot, so, so and it sold for $65. So let's take a look. This is what it looked like. Sarah Cavender Metalworks, signed, rare fern mesh filigree, sold for 80 bucks, 65 bucks, best offer, I guess, um, was taken. So there's that. Pretty cool. I mean, just to me, if it didn't have the tag, I'm like, oh, okay, it's like a standard necklace, right? 
So I looked up um, Sarah Cavender Metalworks Jewelry to see what all was sold. And again, the prices are, you know, pretty good, 50 plus. This one, gosh, I feel like this could have sold for more. This is a bracelet sold for 16 on auction. Yeah. Um, but I'm seeing really good, look at this brooch. Let's see what the mark looks like on this one. I looked at the mark on a couple others I have pulled up, but I want to see the mark on this one. How did they know? What can we look for? Okay, where's the mark? That's what we need to see. Uh, I don't see a mark. How did you know what it was? I don't know. Okay, but the mark on this one has a hang tag right there. Sarah um, Cavender Metalworks. And then on hers, the it was also a hang tag, like so. Okay. Caravel is made by Bolova. Vintage Bolova is one of my favorite bolas. Oh, cool. Okay, good to know. Okay, next up, we have got, this was shared by Juliana as well. Um, jewelry made with gaspatite, gaspite, I always say things wrong, y'all. Gaspite stones. I just learned about it when I got this necklace. Got it in a jewelry lot and sold the best offer of $30. So, let's take a look at this stone so we can commit it to memory. Hang on. Ah, once again, moving my thing around and I can't, I have too many windows open apparently. So here we've got this kind of green stone. It's all swirly. It's kind of like, reminds me of a green turquoise. It's not green turquoise though. I looked it up. <laughs> so I pulled up a little bit of information about it. Gaspatite, I'm going to say it wrong again, gaspite jewelry. Um, and I see a few different things here. And what I learned was that it is, it can have a distinct yellow apple green or a bright green color. Um, it's in the calcite group. And then just, you know, this is what it looks like. That doesn't, see if I saw this, I would think it was dyed how like, cause that's kind of what that looks like. So I guess I'm gonna have to do a little more digging. It looks like it has got this brown in it. Maybe it's copper streaks or something. I would have to, again, figure out figure out a little bit more on how to identify it. So if you find a green stone, don't automatically assume it's dyed out. Like, um, do a little digging because it might be something like gaspite. And it could sell for good money. Okay. Let's see. Was that everything? Um, possibly. Okay. If you are watching this now or later, go over and join International League of Thrifters and Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. Find the new bolo thread and leave a bolo. If you're watching this later, go down there and say hello and leave a bolo here. Check out the comment section because there's lots of great conversations that go on in the comment section. So yeah, come say hey. And I will see you guys most likely tomorrow unless I have like strep throat or something. Uh, who knows? So we'll find out. All right. Thanks, you guys, for coming and hanging out live. And I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody.